what's the perfect job for someone who is still in high school or in college? Luckily for you, using simple math, I have figured out an effective job that will give the most money for the least amount of hours actually working. So that way you can focus on education rather than just the job itself. So let's start with the normal jobs that high schoolers and college students work. Um, McDonald's, Burger King, or any other minimum wage job usually comes to mind when you decide that you want to start looking for a job. These jobs typically offer the minimum wage, which at the time of this video is $7.25 according to the Department of Labor. Some states, like my home state of Arizona, pay a minimum wage of $8.05, and some states, like California, have an even higher amount. On average though, the pay rate ranges anywhere from about $8 an hour to $10. If you were to work at any of these places for let's say 25 hours a week, at the pay rate of $8.05, which is a solid amount of hours to work while still attending school because you have to study, you have to focus on classwork, so 25 hours is, you know, pretty good. Um, you would approximately make $400 every two weeks and then you get your taxes deducted from that. So you'd end up at about 350 or so around there if you did make the minimum wage of 805. That sounds great. You know, 350 is good especially if you're in high school. But isn't there any job that will pay even more than that? As I have found out, yes, there is. Delivery driving. Companies like Domino's or Pizza always have positions open for people who are willing to drive their cars instead of stand around over a deep fryer. These jobs usually pay a little less than minimum wage when you're out on the delivery. For Domino's, at least in Arizona, um, from my own experience, um, you earn $5.05 per hour while out on the delivery and $8.05 while performing other tasks in the store. I assume this policy is implemented in other stores, um, but you would have to check your individual state or individual franchisee store for um, if you wanted to work at Domino's or Pizza Hut and check what their pay rate is or even just ask the manager. Um, by performing other tasks in the store for 805, uh, that would be anything that doesn't involve delivering. So if you're making pizzas or you're doing dishes or anything that doesn't have to do with you actually driving, you would make the minimum wage. Uh, any tips you earn that on the deliveries, they are not taxed. And some pizza places, like Domino's, even give drivers a dollar per delivery extra on top of the wage they already received to pay for gas expenses. Getting a cheap fuel efficient car, like uh, old Nissan Sentra, a Honda Accord, or a Toyota Corolla will allow you to completely cover fuel costs using the dollar uh, per run you earn. So let's do the math. If we average the time doing deliveries and the time in store, we can merge the 505 while out on deliveries and 805 together and come up with about 650 per hour. Because most of the time, you're gonna be doing half the time in the store and half the time on deliveries. So using 650 as kind of a in-between balance would be the best choice you can do. Um, that sounds low, 650 per hour, but we're actually not done yet. When you factor in the tips, you will make a lot more. Customers usually tip between three to five dollars. Now you may get some that tip one dollar, some that don't even tip at all, but on average, people are usually polite and they understand that you're a delivery driver and you don't make you know, as much as a regular person would uh, working at you know, uh, McDonald's or any place like that. So they're gonna throw you three dollars, maybe a five, maybe even a 10, but three to five is a good balance in between. So we're gonna go ahead and use that in our calculation. So let's uh, go ahead and say you make a minimum of two deliveries per hour, which is about what you would do. Um, if you live in a urban area, you might make more, or if you live in a rural area, you might even just do one delivery an hour. But most people live in the suburbs, you know, in a big city, maybe even a small city. So two deliveries per hour is a good number to choose. Um, if each customer tips you $3, now that's the minimum, just $3, you'll have $6 in non-tax, uh, they don't take the taxes out of that, $6 after one whole hour, and $6 from minimum wage. That averages to about $12 an hour after making your deliveries and being um, given your minimum wage of $6.50 on average. If the store does offer $1 per delivery to cover gas, you're sitting at $14 an hour. Some customers, as I have experienced myself, even tip up to $20 
So as you could see, while we're giving the minimum of $14 an hour as the median, you can make maybe a little bit less, but you can even make more. If you even get $5 per run or $10 per run, you can make a lot more than $14 an hour. Even at the lowest estimate of $14 per hour, you would already be making almost double what a typical minimum wage job makes. Another plus of delivery driving is the relative ease of the job. Now, if you're somebody who prefers to do non-strenuous tasks or you just have a busy schedule and you don't feel like having a job that's gonna wear you down and tire you out, delivery driving is perfect. It is very straightforward. You grab the pizza, put it in a bag, drive to the house and deliver. You don't have to deal with many customers other than the ones you deliver to, and that's usually just exchanging the money, saying have a nice day, and then driving back to the store. And the job is not going to leave you tired at the end of the day since you're pretty much sitting in your car listening to your music pretty much the whole time. You might do some in-store tasks, but it's not going to leave you feeling worn down by intense physical activity. It's a pretty relaxing, calm job. Um, if you calculate at the end of two weeks with your tips and the minimum wage you make, you can make at minimum, if we use my calculations of about $3 uh, per customer, $700 every two weeks. That's almost double the pay compared to other high school or college jobs for the same amount of hours work. That's 25 hours at $700 for delivery, if you do the math, or $400 at McDonald's, Burger King, gas stations, or any other place that pays minimum wage that usually hires high schoolers and college students. So I mean, when you look at that, it's pretty obvious what job you should choose if you want to make the most money while still having time to balance your uh, schoolwork, friends, family, and the job. So I mean, get out there and start making some money.